In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the integration of add-on instructions and HMI faceplates into RS Logics and Factory Talk View. To get started, download the EDS files and associated add-on instructions from our website. These files can be found under the Downloads tab within the Quint DC UPS page. Once you have this tab open, scroll down to the software section and download the latest version software package. This package contains all the necessary EDS, faceplate, and add-on instruction files. Open the RS Logix programming environment and start the configuration process. Load the switch into the I.O. configuration. Right-click on the Ethernet icon and select New Module. In the pop-up window, uncheck Vendor Filters and select Phoenix Contact. In the list, double-click the Quint DC UPS opening the new modules window. In this window, enter the switch name, the switch's IP address, and finish by clicking OK. Since you're only configuring one device, close the Select Modules Type window. Next, import the add-on instructions by opening the main routine. Right-click on an open rung and select Import Rungs. Again, this file is contained in the download from Step 1. Once the file is selected, click the Import button. While the file is being imported, an Import Configuration screen will appear. If any errors occur, they can be resolved on this screen. If not, click OK to continue. Once the add-on instruction is loaded, compile and run the project. The PLC project is now complete, so move over to Factory Talk View to set up the HMI screens. Once the project is open, right-click the Communications Setup and select Create New Configuration. Click the Add button, enter a name for your connection, and browse for the PLC we just programmed. Once you have highlighted the PLC, Hit the Copy from Design to Runtime button, then confirm and apply your changes. Next, load the faceplate into the project by right-clicking on the Images icon. Select Add Component. In this window, browse to the Image folder and load all five images. Now, Right-click in the Displays icon and again select Add Components. This time, load the display file. At this point, everything is loaded and all that remains is to create a button on the main screen to launch your imported displays. To do this, open the main display and place a display button on the screen. In the Property window, select the display to launch. Assign a parameter list to the switch parameter folder and then label the UPS button. Now, run your project and view the displays that were just imported. Within this display, you can view the device status, current and voltage status, and other tabs with more information, which will all save you programming time. For more information on the Quint DC UPS, visit phoenixcontact.com slash quintdcups.